Hi, I'm Pat Henderson. I'm the chief winemaker at Kenwood Vineyards here in the Sonoma Valley. We've got a party coming up, so we've invited Kevin Coleman, the grill master for Weber, to come show us how to make uh, some pizzas on the barbecue grill. And Pat, thank you for having us. We have a nice fig, prosciutto and goat cheese pizza, on top of a little bit of basil. You gotta let me know, what's the best wine to pair with this pizza? Well, it's about knowing what you like and what goes with the food. When I was looking at these, I thought our Sonoma County Chardonnay would be a good match. Most of the fruit comes from the Russian River Valley. It's very cool out there, so it has a lot of green apple and pear notes in the fruit, and just a touch of sweetness that will kind of complement it with the fig as well. Awesome, and you can see our pizza's already cooked, and we do this at about 425 to 450 degrees. A little bit of light coating of olive oil goes straight on the grates, and you can see that caramelization is gonna bring out a ton of flavor. More importantly, we're in Sonoma, so we're using some awesome fresh ingredients here. We've got our fig jam, we've got our goat cheese, we've got pear. This pizza is really going to pop. And it was so simple and looks delicious. It's gonna be great. A lot of guests and we want to give them a little bit of variety so I was hoping you could show us how to make another pizza as well with slightly different ingredients. I'm going to show you how to make the pizza but you're going to have to tell me what kind of wine we're going to pair with it. So here we're going to do very traditional. We're going to use a nice tomato sauce, we're going to use some fresh mozzarella, we're going to add some nice tomatoes on top of their top with a little bit of basil and garlic and it should be really good but what I want to know is what's the wine that I'm going to pair with this? Well you know this, is, this pizza has more cheese in it and cheese is kind of rich food and when you get rich foods the red wine really complements their flavor. Uh, mozzarella is flavorful, but it's kind of mild, so it doesn't get in the way of the aroma. And I picked out a Zinfandel. Zinfandel's got a little bit of a spicy character, should go with the spicy marinara sauce. That kind of medium body it has should be a great complement to the rich cheese character in the pizza. The wine tastes fantastic, and that's what I love about being able to barbecue, is I can drink some wine, and I can cook some really good food. So let me take care of this, and then we'll uh, get it on the grill. Sounds great. Alright, thanks so much Kevin. Uh, I really love the fresh ingredients. It's, you know, it's a lot like making wine. The quality of the wine really comes from how good the grapes are, and it's the same thing with these pizzas. They look incredible. I can't wait to dig in. I know they look incredible, but this wine tastes incredible. So thank you so much for having us out here. It's been an amazing experience teaching people how to grill, teaching them the perfect wine to have it with. Now let's go educate the 100 people we have to cook for later today. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome. Thanks for all you've done for us. It's been a real exciting couple of years here at Kenwood. When people think about wine, they want to think about experience, having it with their friends, having it with their families, having it with a good meal. And I think that's part of the wonderful thing about the Sonoma image. This is it. You know, it's a nice evening. We're getting together with some friends. We need some good food, drink some good wine. This relationship is one of the exciting things we're doing, and it's a great opportunity. There's nothing better than good barbecue and wine. And that's the great thing we do. And just like here, we're around good family, we're around good friends, and we're gonna have a fun experience. We're gonna hang out, we're gonna take some pictures, and we're gonna have a blast.